we got a lot of great questions here. Fantastic questions today, folks. Eric says, with an automatic programmable thermostat, is it best to set the temperature to 70 all the time, or is it more energy efficient to have the temp say go to 75 during the workday and automatically go back to 70 when we get home from work? Well, 70 is kind of cool for most people. Yeah. Uh, you, number one, you know, normally you don't want the uh, uh, inside temperature uh, much more than uh, 18, 16 to 18 degrees off from the outside temperature. Um, but I would say, you know, if he's got it at 70, 72, 73, whatever he does during the day, if he, he, the programmable will save him money by raising it during the day five to seven degrees. You don't want to go much more than that and he will ha experience savings. Now, I will tell you, most of the people that have the programmable thermostats, the best part of their thermostat they use, the hold button. Right, hold the temperature. Yeah, yeah. And here's the, here's, here's the take on this, okay? Uh, it's time we face the cold facts. So it's important that we uh, understand this. A setback thermostat or programmable thermostat is your number one way to save money in your home, okay? Uh, and, and to, to address the question uh, from Eric. Uh, when, you're in, when you're at work and your home is no one's in there, there's no reason to keep it cool. There's no reason to spend the energy to keep it cool. So what I wanna do is teach you to understand that, look it, from 8 a.m. when you leave to go to work till 5 p.m., uh, let it go up to 77 degrees. Let it go as hot as it can be. And then, you know you get home at 5, so at 4.30, you set it so that it turns it to 72. That way, it cools the house down and keeps it at the temperature you want. Now, Gary, I have a little bit of a back and forth with a lot of people. I tell homeowners to keep the fan on on and adjust the temperature. Uh, some people say put it on an auto and let it go on and off. What, what, what is the right combination? Where, where do we find the sweet spot for the, our homeowners? The, the, Adam, the, the best way to do it for the best airflow, filtration, even temperatures, is to leave the fan on on all the time. Leave it on on. So that's what I say, and I get a lot of flack for that. Thanks for in, Well, a lot of people me. here run and they say, oh, that's going to cost me 50 bucks a month. And it does cost more because you're running the motor. Unless you look into the newer systems right. with variable speed motors and DC motors where the operating cost is much lower, um, and they that in those systems automatically will adjust the CFM level right. of your fan. So that variable speed motor makes a big difference.